Hello, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I wanted you guys to take a look at Ghostwire Tokyo. So, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is one of the better games I played this year. Um, I'm kind of going through all my games that I played this year and I'm making a video on each one that like really stood out to me because I don't want these games to just get lost and forgotten about. Uh, they are, they are, they are solid experiences that like really stood out to me. So the story about Ghostwire Tokyo, um, this is the... This is actually the first game I've ever completed on the PC. This is the first one, and I was like, ooh, my gosh. So, uh, when I did play this then, I was on the, uh, I was on my 3060 Ti back then. Um, I'm running this on the 3080 right now with everything maxed out. Ray tracing is all enabled, everything. We're on the 3080. And, uh... We're getting some pretty, pretty decent uh, frame rate on here with everything maxed out, which is, which is really nice because this game here is literally beautiful. Now I know a lot of people are making, they make a lot of videos about cyberpunk and uh, I think this, this video, this game here actually deserves to be talked about more. Like I'm, I'm like keeping my head on a swivel because of the, because of the things. I mean, oh, and then when it starts raining in this game, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. So much particle. My gosh, it just, it looks incredible. The way the streets light up and, man, this game is something else to behold. Uh, so when I first started playing this, so this game here, okay, let's talk about what, what, the, what the overall experience was for me. Now, I rated this game pretty high. It uh, it actually gives me that first-person uh, Silent Hill vibe. If, if Silent Hill was a first-person game, like this is what I would kind of expect Silent Hill to be. Because that's pretty much what it feels like. Empty city, nobody around, very few NPCs that you can interact with. Um, pretty much city's deserted it's it's in japan so you're you're looking at like a like japan japanese architecture for the most part the uh, the the gameplay loop um at first i thought man this game's not gonna do that well but the gameplay loop is is pretty much you're in an you're in open you're you're in japan you're in an open area you have to do certain things to to get like this fog so every time you see like the fog you can't go in there that's dangerous but there are ways to 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 open to open some of those areas up now this is my complete save file so i'm just running around and re-exploring retreading some of this stuff because there's a bunch of spirits that you can that you can collect and turn in and, and upgrade your character stuff like that so there is a there's a fairly decent um, RPG element to this game, but it is pretty linear in the uh, in the overall experience when it comes to like upgrading your character, which isn't which isn't a bad thing. It it works nicely for this, but my gosh, the ray tracing, huh? it works nicely for this experience, but it does give you more of that like uh, I would say it feels more like a Japanese um, it feels more like a Japanese Silent Hill experience than than a lot of people give it credit for not not 100 silent hill but definitely definitely enough to to keep you in, in involved if that's your type of game like if you like silent hills you're probably gonna love this one uh game took me about 12 to 13 hours to complete it's not super long um i didn't really necessarily rush through it but i did you know get through it at a at a pretty steady pace which was which was pretty good i was able to get through it in in a in a saturday playing it from start to finish was was pretty good i did buy this originally on the playstation 5 though and uh it was just essentially unplayable on the playstation 5 for me the uh the frame rate was just too inconsistent 
but this right here having the higher frame rate definitely does uh, here's here's some of these spirits right here like those. this right here is a Jizo statue they will upgrade your you know, they'll upgrade your abilities so you'll have like more wind blasts wind is my favorite there's also you also have oh duh, that's like camera mode there's also uh let's see i forgot how to change them oh yeah there's there's the water effect and then you also have fire and then you will also have a bow that you can that you can use as well but um yeah so and then ooh, a piece of candy box so here is this here's how you refill your magical powers your the the powers for that is you can find those type of things or each enemy will drop some too for the arrows you have to find the arrows and usually those are in areas that are you'll usually find those in areas where you're going to have to kind of rely on that bow there is also so like this right here this stuff I'll drop that and then it'll show you where the where the thing is so you see it way up there Bing. And then that will get rid of that. So now you can go in this area and save all of these people that were trapped within that thing. Which is, dude, this game is just cool. Like the gameplay loop on this is actually pretty freaking fun. I really appreciate it. Now with all the spirits you get, you will go to one of these phone booths, open up the phone booth, and then you will trade those in and that gives you points so that you can further upgrade your character uh, yep, you'll go ahead and deposit those guys into the bank, and then you will upgrade your character more and more, and then, and it, yeah, so it's it's cool. It's got an it's got an interesting game loop. There's some Japanese, you know, the Japanese <laughs> um, mythology stuff like that. Really, not like super heavy, but it is it is kind of heavy. Like there's a lot of lore in this game. It uh. <laughs> it's definitely fun to go around and figure out and and like the combat and stuff is is fairly is fairly is fairly good once you get used to it like these guys you take their souls or you can just take them all the way out Like, it's, it's pretty cool, and it looks cool. Like, this game just looks cool. Like, this is a this is a good-looking game. Very good-looking. The combat. there Now, now this here is kind of like the opening area for the game, kind of. So, it does get... It does, it does get more... Uh, it gets more intense as you continue to go through in the game, but... My gosh, dude, I just... Oh, like these red things right here. Shoot those, and boom, it'll blow up. So those are pretty cool. So don't go hitting those with your palm. They will blow up. You can pet the dogs. Man, this game was just so fun. It just felt... It's it's pretty mis it's pretty majestic, to be completely honest with you. So let's come over here. Let's climb up on here. And let's try to get up there. Uh, I want to get up there and get that. So let's see. How are we going to do this? Oh, right here. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to climb up the side of it. And get these spirits. Because that's pretty much what I've just... When I've been playing this, I've been just going back around and trying to collect all those. Because you can... Uh, just collecting them is actually fun. Because it introduces a pretty decent amount of verticality in this game. Um, yes, you can pretty much go up... Pretty much you can go up if you want to you can scale everything there's secrets and stuff up here um, I think these guys right here no how do I get rid of that guy I forgot I never used them I always just I always just uh, whatchamacallit oh here's some of these 
I, I never I never really use those things, but I feel like let me see if I can get out here and try to do that because you can use those those uh, yokai to climb up on the buildings. That's what they're there for. Oh, there you go. Hey, <clears throat> that's right. So yeah, the, those those guys there are not bad guys. Those ones there are just there to help you to help you climb up on things, which is which is pretty cool. Like I like that. It helps you get like the verticality. But this right here, you can pretty much just use to float across. You just hold the jump button, and then you can pretty much glide across to to the roofs and stuff. So, there's a lot of exploration in this game, and I really, really freaking like that. Let's try to get... Let's try to get over there, but we want to go up a little bit higher, just in case. Because there is kind of like a drop-off. See how far we can get. Boom, yeah. So, that does... That is an upgrade power. Like, you will be able to upgrade that so you can go a little bit further. Like, when you first start, you do not get... What's seeing me? Oh. Get all the spirits absorbed. Let's see. Dang it. Yeah, there's no fall damage, so if you fall you're you're pretty much good. But if you fall down here, you go up the stairs. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, this game is actually pretty freaking fun, man. To get in here and just explore and have fun. Uh, the story content was actually pretty decent. It was it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I, I definitely enjoyed the uh, story content for this game. Let's just take these guys out. Like, this game was so freaking cool, man. Just, like, pulling that stuff off is so fun and rewarding. It's so rewarding! I, I love this game. I love this game. I think it is freaking pretty awesome. I really, really, really enjoyed playing it. Dang, I wish I could jump on that. Oh, look at this guy. Ooh, let me go up here, buddy. He'll help me get up higher. Because I want these spirits. So, like, doing all the verticality and stuff. Oh, there's some people over there. So, we'll go back and get them. But we want the gold pots of money. Okay. So, we'll get these guys because there's a few down here. <coughs> So yeah, that's pretty much what you'll do. Is that's th this is a pretty decent part of this game is uh, is finding the spirits because they are actually people, and if you can save them and stuff, that's that's pretty cool. Like it, it it gives you something to go back and play around with later. Um, as you can see, like performance wise, this is running pretty dang good with all that ray tracing in it, and it's not even maxing out, dude. That's that's insane. I'm not even maxing out my GPU at 1440p. Um, I have yet to try this 4K. I have yet to try it on 4K. Woo. See, that lasts a little while. No fall damage. So, all right, man. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this. I think I've talked your ear off on it long.